right, and welcome back from that big time commercial break. We are back here on the After Hours of TCB Sunday, the podcast. And Jeff, you and I were in the limousine not too long ago, going to one of these fan conventions where we get you get autographs and whatnot. You're talking to celebrities. And we're huge Friday the 13th fans, right? That's correct. Oh, yeah. That's correct. And one of the people that were there was one of the, was played the new Jason in the new Friday the 13th. But we were talking about Friday the 13th Part 2, which Airwolf Chris was recently over at his palatial estate. And we watched that movie for the, for your, for the first time. Yeah, I, I missed somehow. I mean, I'm product of the 80s, but somehow missed... The, the Friday, uh, Friday the 13th. The first 13th. I yeah, don't know how you missed those. We've been talking about them forever down here. All right, but part two. Now, Jeff, the story of part two takes place months. The beginning of part two takes place months after the events in part one, correct? That is correct. After the flashback scene? Um, yes. Well, we're talking about that scene specifically. The one yes. the, the, for those of you who haven't seen Friday the 13th part two, the woman who survived part one is killed mysteriously in the beginning of part two. Now, everybody thinks it's Jason. We have a theory that it's not Jason. Correct, Jeff? That's right. And the thing. we're going to explain a lot of key notes and everything that prove uh, the, that, that, it's, uh, that it's a very suspicious thing. And uh, we're going to get to the bottom of it right now. All right. So, flash forward opening of Friday the 13th Part 2. As we've established, Alice is now in her home at her way, a long way from Camp Crystal Lake. Now, wouldn't you, if you were in a murder sequence like you were in Part 1... Wouldn't you move as far away from Crystal Lake as possible? Oh, yeah. I'd move yeah, uh, into a city you know, or something I, like I'd that. I'd move to a different country, all right, after the trauma that that broad went through in part one. Mm -hmm. Now, supposedly, we see footsteps in the beginning of part two, and we're under suspicion that it's Jason because we hear ch -ch -ha -ha in the beginning of it, right? Yeah. All right. Now, Jason is a retard, correct? Yeah, right, politically yeah, correct. Yeah. He's a moron, all right? Can't All right. say that. We can say anything we want. This is Bull's, Bull Montana's podcast. Now, if this guy, we know Jason wears a potato sack and he's deformed and he's been living in the woods eating rodents and whatever he can get his hands on. Right. How did he know where this chick lived? All right. That's, That's correct. Boy, he's Voorhees. Okay, but Voorhees, he was, he was. He was not all there. All right? He was, he was a zombie. I mean, as they kind of later described it, he was just this. Wacko. He, yeah, he, he, he evolved could not, into He could not speak. Uh, like, uh, like he cannot utter a word and everything. He, it's not like he can call information. Yeah, uh, like, uh, Dial, can I help you? <laughs> no, well, when he got no. kicked in the nuts, he said a word. He, he went, Ugh, Ugh. Yeah, but uh, yeah, how's uh, how uh, uh, Jason going to find out an address or yeah, I mean, anything th like this that? This is pre-internet. Or, or buy a bus ticket or... Or or find her now. Track how her how down. is he going to track her down? Exactly. I mean, he's not. Was he going to hire somebody like an FBI, like like the colonel down there? He's going to say, "Listen," and they're going to understand that. So when I first saw this movie back in the day, it I didn't, didn't resonate. But like a few months ago, when you and I were going on the convention, I was like, here's a theory. Here's a wacky theory. Remember Crazy Ralph? He was the old guy in the first Friday. They're like, "You're all doomed. You're this place all is cursed. cursed. All right." Cursed. All right, and we and he pops up in the second one as well, and as the heroine of the movie Jenny was driving her Volkswagen to Camp Crystal Lake in part two, we see him on a bike riding down towards Camp Crystal Lake. If that place is doomed, that's the last place this dude's gonna go, right? That is correct. Unless he has a connection to Jason. All right. Whether he's his father, which is a wild stretch. Or he's just an, is just he's just wacky enough that Jason, uh, you know, can communicate with him, right? That's correct. Uh, I mean, no, nobody knows the whole Crystal Lake story better than Ralph. Uh, ever since ever since part one, he's the first go to guy about Jason. And in the new remake that came out in two thousand and nine, they took all the best parts of two, three, four, and six and made a mishmash in it. It's a fantastic movie. Great eighties style nudity in this movie. Perfect nipple placement on that chick in that movie. Nice Unbelievable. Side boob. Oh my oh side boob, everything boob. Well now what's one where Jason goes to the moon? Okay, well that's we don't count that's 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 <laughs> that ten. That's count, Jason right? X. So in the part nine, I mean the two thousand and nine remake, like I said, they took all the elements from all the great Friday the thirteenth. And a guy was looking for his sister and went to one of the houses, and he met a crazy woman. Not crazy Ralph, but a crazy woman. And she goes, Le why don't you just leave him alone? He never bothered nobody. So that made me think that that woman in the movie kind of knew who Jason was, which is kind of based on crazy Ralph knowing who Jason is. 
Right. So it all makes sense there. So my theory and Jeff's theory is Jason had a powwow with Crazy Ralph. And his wife, and Crazy Ralph's wife. No, no, Crazy Ralph. There is no Crazy Ralph's wife. Well, maybe the woman you're just saying that was maybe, defending. Maybe that that could Jason, be that could be his wife. You never know. But we're thinking Jason somehow, whether he's you know used telekinetic powers or you know threatened to cut his throat or something, said, "Find a bitch to kill my mother, and I'll let you live." It makes perfect sense because someone called the chick Alice in the beginning of part two and hung up the phone. Jason's not gonna know how to use a phone. Correct. We figured it out. It's Crazy Ralph that killed her in the beginning because they, the, the the mother's head was in the refrigerator. Right, and that's uh, right. That's what I was about to get to and everything, and like, uh, like, uh, we, uh, like, uh, and then, uh, in like, uh, like in part two and everything, Crazy Ralph was ki- killed with the fishing wire and everything. I think uh, we think that uh, Jason killed Crazy Ralph for offing his mother. I mean, for 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 no, not for often the mother because uh, he's seen um, he's seen Alice do it. But Crazy Ralph, I mean, he, she, Jason killed Crazy Ralph for taking the head from his shed and everything and bringing it all the way to where a, a Alice lived without his permission. I mean, he kept that head and everything in his little uh, in that little shanty that he built. It was right? like a shrine. Yeah. Basically, every time person he killed, he dragged there and put it in front of the mother. Now, Colonel. What do you think about these? Do you think Crazy Ralph is the guy who killed Alice in the beginning of Part 2, or are you going to go with the canon that it was Jason Voorhees miraculously got brain power and found out how to find somebody? I'd say it's uh, Crazy Ralph. You think it's Crazy Ralph? Yes. Would you bet money on that? No, but you know, my, my theory is uh, Crazy Ralph. So your theory is Crazy Ralph. Yeah. Airwolf Chris, since you've only seen Friday the 13th Part 2 one time, I have to go with you. You're good with this kind of stuff, TC. So I, I'd go with you and say Crazy Ralph's probably it. That's a pretty big plot hole. It, well, you know, it, how does Jason find out where this woman lives? It's a huge plot hole. I mean, it makes no sense that she's going to, oh, I'm going to move into the town next to Crystal Lake. No, and, I'm and as the, far the away from this place. When, uh, Jay's, uh, when the person showed up and everything and everything, you're seeing his, uh, you're seeing his pants and his boots and his hands. I mean, he, he looked like he was wearing pretty new clothes, unlike Jason, whose uh, clothes are always wet and shabby. Weren't they overalls? Or? They were. They were bib overalls. And he had, like, flannel shirt on. Does and Crazy Ralph wear bib overalls and a flannel shirt? No, Crazy Ralph wears, uh, like, a, a pair of, uh, like, a, like a dress pants, a uh, white, uh, white dress shirt. And Unless he's killing vest. someone, then. Maybe Unless he's he going be. there on orders from, like, the, the godfather of serial killers, Jason, and getting revenge on him because he doesn't know where the person lives. It has to be Crazy Ralph. Who else would it be, Jeff, in the Friday the 13th universe? Who else would make sense not to be Crazy Ralph that did it? There's not going to be anybody else that makes sense because there's no, no survivors and everything. I mean, uh, like, uh, oh, I mean, hmm. I mean, the only person that it could possibly be was that other guy, that other big oaf who worked at the diner. <laughs> I don't or think maybe the guy who drove the truck, who drove uh, the, the girl in. I'm going to go but, uh, with uh, Big gonna, Ralph. Yeah. Right I'm, I'm going. It, it's got to be Crazy Ralph. For those Friday the 13th aficionados out there, you may think we're completely out of our mind. But step outside of the box and think for a second. How would Jason? Here, here, here's, here's the facts. Alice killed her mother. She moved away. She's not going to be sticking around Crystal Lake. Jason has no idea of anything other than his surroundings at Crystal Lake. He hooks up with this guy who probably feeds him and clothes him and takes care of him, kind of like I would do at Reno. And he says, listen, I need you to go whack this bitch that killed my mother, and uh, you can have any of the dead bodies you want. Because Crazy Ralph wasn't all there himself, right, Jeff? Uh, that's right and everything. Uh, like uh, Once he gets drunk and everything, he's known for uh, heavy drinking and everything. Like, uh, but, like uh, he's known for uh, being a drunk. And um, I bet like uh, he was the one who uh, caused all those problems at Camp Crystal Lake. Yep, I bet uh, Crazy Ralph and... Uh, maybe, Crazy maybe, Ralph maybe and... Jason... I can't picture it and everything, but who can, you know? Crazy Ralph was mar- married to Mrs. Voorhees at one time. I don't know how rocky their marriage was, but that's a story within itself. That somebody has to Maybe write. Jason wasn't the violent person that we always thought he was. Maybe he was being egged on by Crazy Ralph. Maybe he just wanted to be left alone, right? Here's a guy who's mm-hmm. deformed, who came back to life miraculously, and he lives in a shack, and he wears a potato sack on his head, because now why would he have vanity issues? I mean, he's Jason, for Christ's sake. 
Why would he have a potato sack on his head? Well, uh, like, who's he trying to not impress? I mean, he's Jason. He well, lives he's in self-conscious the about it. He doesn't have a mirror. He lives in a shack. True. I mean, what is he? He's not shaving every morning because at the end of the movie we saw when he had the potato sack. Well, I went, but Ur! he wasn't no. always living in a shack. He was living at home with his mom. No, and he, he knew drowned. That he was deformed. Right? He drowned, and he came back to life. And then was deformed. And then was deformed. He got like waterlogged in Camp Crystal Lake. Colonel, any anything to add to this uh, enlightening conversation down here? Uh, I believe uh, crazy. I believe crazy Ralph's the one that did it. All right, here's, I'm going to go off on a. We, that's the crazy Ralph theory down there. If you believe it, if you agree with us, let us know. And after hours, TC. If not, we don't give a shit.